Hello and welcome to Dirt Farmer Bites. I'm Katie and joining me today is Wendy. Hi everybody. So once again it's time for another new farm. I think we're probably on about, I think we'll hit 70 by the end of the year probably. Yeah. yeah. Okay so this farm is called Maple Frontier and has a Canadian theme. Yes, Canada. I know everyone. There's a lot of excited people about this Canadian farm. I, you can see it in the um, news feed on Facebook and in Ask the Dirt Farmer. People are ex genuinely excited. We have a lot of Canadian farmers. Ah, I can't wait. Yes, we do, definitely have. And it is one again, as I said last time, they've been releasing ones we've been asking for. And Canada was a farm team that lots and lots of players have asked for. And what have you asked for, Katie? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit sad because I predicted last time steampunk, which unfortunately we haven't got. And we'll be getting this year. I know. Steampunk. Where is Katie's steampunk farm? January, Are you people, listening January out there? 2021. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, while we're talking about themes, we know the farm after this has a Hawaiian theme and it's called Coastal Countryside. Yes, breaking news. Yeah, we're going back to Hawaii. June the 31st of August? Yes. 31st. Um, going ahead from that, that means the next one's due in October, which is Halloween, and the one after that will be Christmas. I think we know pretty much the farm themes for the rest of the year. How about that? So that's why I want steampunk in January 2021. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Anyway, All right. Yeah, back, Go ahead. To, back to Maple Frontier. Early access is on Monday the 20th of July and general access is on the 27th of July and we will be levelling up with Maple Points. Mm-hmm. All right, and every new farm has a main buildable and the main buildable on this farm is called the Valley Observatory, and I was kind of excited about this. Um, I went and look at, looked at the um, images. Is it actually an observatory? Like, can we look at constellations? Is there a big giant telescope and look at constellations and stars in the sky? And yes, it is. We'll be building an actual observatory. And um, that'll play in with the uh, quest theme and everything. So, yeah, you know, really dark skies up there in some remote areas of um, Canada. So, yeah, we need an observatory. And the parts to build this valley observatory are the cement sack. The second part is a steel scooper. And the third part is Canadian wood. And I, I think, think we nice built building. an observatory before, you know, one of the like the deco spitters. Yes, I remember that. I have it on my. I know, uh, I have it on my. Um, I can't remember the name of that farm. Ar Ardour, Legend of uh, Straits of Ardour. Straits of Ardour. Ardour. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on that farm. That's right. So this is cool. And um, along the way, as you're building this um, observatory, you get some prizes. There's a Canadian party beaver. Woo! There's a, <laughs> there's a, oh, I love this one. There's a National Park swan it's a swan in his red coat uh as like a national park ranger and there's a um, nature canadian wolverine those are just three of the uh level up prizes and we've got an unwithering building this time it's the summer wood lodge and we need 974 maple tokens 
to unlock the usual 30 presents, which finishes with the unwithering. Okay, great. All right, next up we have our self-contained crafting. That is called the Hillside Stable. And let's see what the Hillside Stable, what kind of animals are we going to be making is it all one you know all horses no it looks like we have a variety of animals we'll be crafting here's a few of them there's the ruby collared pika isn't that funny there's an animal called a pika it's kind of <laughs> like P pikachu yeah it's really <laughs> cute it's really cute though it's a bit like that <laughs> <laughs> the ruby collared pika there's a fisherman beaver lots of beavers around here there's a watchkeeper puffin. I guess there's puffins up in Canada. There's a summer red fox, a maple leaf cougar, a wild mountain caribou, and the final um, animal that we craft in the self-contained hillside stable is a hockey player horse. Oh, you've got to have the hockey player. It's Canada. Yeah, there's a few hockey ones, animal-wise, I think. Yeah. A, a monkey. I think there's a peacock with the hockey sticks for the tail. and. Oh, wow. Good. So they've got the hockey sticks yeah. in there. That's great. Okay, now we're on to the uh, recipe building. That is the uh, crafting building. It's called the Maple Workshop. All right, recipes. Are we making food or are we making items? It looks like a combination of both, which I like. But, you know, I was dying to know the first thing I looked up, will there be poutine? <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, the famous Canadian uh, dish called poutine, yes, there is. We'll be making cheesy poutine in the Maple Workshop. Well, it's they could a, list that out. Yeah, it's a funky kind of dish. I, I ordered it one time. I was in Quebec, and, um, of course, I ate it. But it's it's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's like french fries or something you put gravy on top and cheese on top and um anyway that's one of our crafts we're going to be making maple chip cookies so see instead of chocolate chip cookies they're maple chip cookies i would definitely like that oh, yeah that's my yeah. kind of sweet tooth yeah <laughs> There's, uh, this is funny. Um, this sounds like something we'd make down in Mississippi where I grew up. It's called Saskatoon pie. Saskatoon pie is made with Saskatoon berries. Interesting. Of course, we've got maple syrup and we have, um, a bu oh, butter tarts. Now, those sound good. Um, butter tarts are um, like a pastry. It's a small pastry tart, and it's one of Canada's quintessential treats. I would definitely eat that. Another interesting one is Montreal bagels. So uh, Montreal bagels, I looked them up. They look delicious. They are um, handmade wood-fired bagels. They're smaller, thinner, sweeter, and denser than a New York bagel. And they're always baked in a wood-fired oven. Oh, There's an image of, Im image of that. I want to try one of those. They, they, I've been to uh, Montreal, and I've not had one, so when I go again, I'm going to try <laughs> one of those. <laughs> and then a few of the non-food items will be making mountain dream catchers. Uh, mini hockey sticks. Let's see, and I think that's about all I wrote down. Yeah, so that's our recipe shop. And to make these recipes, here's some of the crafts. I mean, I'm sorry, some of the crops. All right, what kind of crops do we have in Canada? Well, we have a Canada columbine. We have honeyberry grapes. And it's funny, there are four summer 
crops. It's a little interesting. There's the summer bearberry. There's a summer lily. There's a summer scallion and a summer soybean. So that's kind of uh, be careful when you're <laughs> looking for those crops in the market. And then here's some more uh, specific uh, regional crops. There's the Quebec plum. There's a Montreal cabbage. There's a Calgary apricot. And there's an Ontario liatris. Yes, like I was going to mention that they, a lot of them include different regions. I like that. I think that's good. Yeah, I like that one. I'm glad they did that. Yeah. All right. That's the crops and recipes. So we've got treasure parts again. And yes, different names. No shovels oh. and hoes. <laughs> Because normally all I say now is shovels and hoes and that's it. No, <laughs> no. We've got Canadian snowshoes. Perfect. And brass maple finial. Finials. Okay, those are different. Very different, yeah. I like the snowshoes. Yeah, they look cute. <laughs> yeah. This farm because to me, Canada screams winter. Yeah. And snow. And hence the snowshoes, but you've just given a list of crops with summer. Summer and on it. it. Is summertime, so it's a bit. That's unusual. you're right. You're right. There definitely seem to be with all those crops. They're emphasizing it's summer in Canada, but then you've got the Canadian snowshoes. Of course, you would need those up in the mountains, I guess. Yeah, and there is mountains in the. But it looks like there's mountains in the background of the farm again. Yeah. All right, characters. Katie and I were just talking about the characters. We know one character's name, the young man with the little um, cap on his head, wool cap on his head. His name is, oh, I forgot his name. Chad. Chad. That's Chad. And he's a cutie. And we do know of a... It appears that Chad's mom is somewhere in this, uh, in the storyline of the Canada farm. There's also a postman named Nellie, uh, you'll see in the quest information. Is that all the, uh, characters we know of right now? Well, we think the mom might be called Mary. Oh, Mary. Yeah. Okay. There's, could be a Mary character. Okay. Great. All right, and that leads us to quest number one. Let's see what the quest story looks like, because I know all of you, like me, love to follow the quest <laughs> story. Each one has its own unique little story, and they kind of run together to form one big story. So uh, Maple Frontier Chapter 1 uh, is titled An Unexpected Letter. Okay, this is, I believe, Chad speaking here. I had the strangest dream that foreign visitors were coming to our observatory. I hope it's not an alien invasion. Oh boy, aliens. <laughs> Wait, why is postman Nelly headed towards our farm? We usually don't receive that many letters. I can't believe it. Astronomers from America are coming to our observatory to witness a rare meteor shower. This is so exciting, Chad. You'll get to meet real astronomers and learn so much from them. You're right, Mom. I wonder how they knew about our observatory. I can't wait to meet them. The letter says that they'll be arriving in a couple of weeks. We have a lot of work to do before they arrive. So, and that's kind of a cute storyline. They're having American astronomers come to visit their observatory in Canada. So, yeah, it's different. I like it. So now we like go from a fun quest story to the pain in the ass features. <laughs> oh, I do know, and I don't like telling you about this bit because we have two features again. 
And we all know we don't like two features. Two features. Oh, boy. So the first one is called The Animal Retreat. And the final prize is the various types of animal ranch. Which are quite cute, actually. If you look at the building okay. the buildings post, they're quite nice little ranches. Um, the feature looks similar to Spook and Treats from the last Halloween farm. Okay. That's one of the ones before that now. Is it? Yeah, from a while ago. And the second one, again, is similar to the Antique Museum from Spook Halloween. And it's called the Natural History Museum. Uh, I see both of them museums and okay so it's going to be like the antique museum from Spookoween. so it's okay. going to be and again the feature that we just had i think it's going to be planting crops to find in that in this one it was puzzle pieces i think it'll be back to like pieces of like you know, antiques or whatever kind of thing i see treasure. Yes, yes, we've done that. Dinosaurs come into it because I've seen a lot of dinosaurs in the decorations post. Oh, maybe we're finding dinosaurs in our crops. And that, okay, yeah, I, this is definitely, I, we've seen a feature like this before. Yeah, okay. This is very early for the information for that. We'll have more on the site as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's looking very much like slight differences to the older features that we had from Spookoween. Okay. And of course we'll have the usual mix of pens, trees, decorations, buildings and animals. Okay. All of which are on farmvilledirt.com right now. We've just posted them in fact. Great. And the complete guide is being worked on so that will be up later tonight as well. Hot off the presses. That's right. Get perfect and, timing. Yeah. Be on the look for, I will be up all night looking and waiting and searching for the bushel swap. It should, it could come out at any time now. We will need an enhance. If we see an enhance, that probably means the new bushels are available in swap. And I'll get a picture up as soon as I can um, to make sure everybody knows about that. And, of course, you'll be up all night on Sunday night waiting to go. It's here, it's here, it's here. <laughs> I will. I've done that for 60-something farms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good scary thoughts, isn't it? Especially given that we kind of know the whole years already, like we said at the beginning. <laughs> right. Okay, have we got anything else? I think that's it. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody, and bye for now. Bye. Enjoy your Canadian farm.